Yo! What up gamers? I have a special video for you today because as the Lost dances, we're gonna take a look at false certificate. This item is from Eco Eclipse. We've had this mod on for a very long time. Always like checking out whatever it has for us. On pickup, it gives us an extra life and I'm also going to combine it with Dead Cat, which is going to give us like nine extra lives. So I'm going to have like 10. Now you may be wondering why. I don't know if you can read that fast or maybe I cut the video so you can't read it. Ooh, what are you going to do about that? Or maybe you did read it. But basically this item makes it so that whenever you die, which I'll do right now, you activate death certificate wow would you look at that so i'm gonna get unbelievably broken no matter what we're gonna have a goofy goober what the hell is that eight percent chance to mark an enemy upon entering a room sure we're gonna have a goofy goober day today but every single time you die false certificate has a chance to actually be removed from your inventory so it ain't all sunshines and rainbows we could actually lose this thing so i should try my best to uh, get the highest value items as soon as possible and not miss out i could get a rock bottom as a start uh you know I don't think I've done that in a while. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. And then we'll move forward. Yes, I, of course, would literally... I could die right now and do it again. <laughs> but I think what I'll end up doing, I prefer AAA battery here, is dying at least once per floor until eventually false certificate gets deleted, at which point I have to fend for myself. If I pop this pill, I can see Pharaoh. That's very nice. Not very afraid of any kind of tears downs or anything. So, you know, we're pulling it up tonight. And a snazzy looking juicy treasure room which played the scariest sound effect I've ever heard in my life, and also it's the poop, which I don't want. Those babies okay, it could be conjoined. How y'all doing today? I hope you're doing great. Been very busy recently, still uh, kind of um, fixing up the home that I recently moved into, applying furniture and such, doing the do, decorating and all of that. Basement Bingo, that community event will be uh, happening very soon, in like three or so days, as well as TwitchCon, which I'll be there for one day. So that's exciting. But mainly I'm excited because before TwitchCon, I'm actually going to Universal, <laughs> which I've been to Universal before, but I, I, I don't know, it's just exciting it's for halloween horror nights you know but actually the main thing i want to do is go to super nintendo world because i've never been there but i'm hoping it's going to be a very fun time uh you know I'll, I'll do a little bit of a vlog like how i did that evo vlog for like two seconds yeah I'll, I'll say hi on camera and act like that's a full video i got you don't even don't even sweat it <laughs> got a super secret room here thanks so i can see for it never mind goodbye boss room probably coming up nice i'm gonna use a strength card here not too essential obviously it's just a little horn but it's better than just holding on to the strength card finding another card in the future and then literally never using the strength card leaving it behind and then i forget that it exists for the entirety of my entire lifetime you know how many strength cards i've probably left behind in my life lost to times i'll never see ever again might as well just use them i feel little horn gone jesus is grabbed and damage ups taken let's go down for also, of course, I have rock bottom, so using strength card is really good for us. I'm almost guppy. Now, who here decided that this is something you should be giving me? I'm already OP. Just kidding. Guppy's head is gone. I'm gonna die real quick. Do I keep my false certificate? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I didn't I didn't do any cuts there. It was just a black screen and I thought I crashed, but we're, we're fine. Don't even don't even worry. Lock it in. Uh, what do we want to take at this point? We should probably stack up damage and then tears and then multi-shot rate because that's the best thing you can do with rock bottom. So should I just go straight into poly? What the hell is LDR? <laughs> that's definitely a new item for the mob pack. Yeah, I think I'll find like a poly and well, I mean, use my scares right here, but poly is more fun. Sacred Heart could also be good and I would also get homing. Yeah, I think sacred here. Sorry, poly, but uh... I'm getting the cooler older brother. We'll get as much damage multipliers as we can, as much as the false certificate can allow me. At which point when it officially deletes, then we'll just have to lock it in. Uh, it would be pretty funny though, if I went the entire game, all eight lives, and I just ended up getting eight death certificates. I would not be complaining. <laughs> oh, in a recent video I recorded, I mentioned how I was gonna link a monitor that I have, because I really like this monitor and I I've been enjoying it. And then, you know, of course me, you know how it is. I immediately forgot when I hit the upload button so uh, i i fixed the description in that video i think it might be the last video i uploaded depends on which ones i'm editing right now but i i know it's like the i buffed linger bean video I, I talked about my monitor in that video if you're curious i do not want ludo by the way roll and get serpent's kiss nice if you're curious what monitor i have slash you want a monitor now it'll be right there in the uh, description my fault gamers dummy amounts of money can be applied to uh, a battery maybe but nothing else too much i think we just move on over and kill college stone yeah
melt away and give me a deal. With a perfectly timed roll because of AAA battery, I guess I'll walk in here and maybe get conjoined. I don't care about conjoined too much. Death Sickle is a 25% chance that enemies will spawn ghosts upon death. Spawn chance does not, doesn't, does not affect it by luck. I don't. Actually, you know what? I will take it. Because I have Sacred Heart, that means I don't really care about Angel Rooms too much. I can still get Colonel Light by my own fruition. I don't need it, you know? I'll go Devils instead. Expand our options. Let's find another way to die real quick. There, there's that there's that scary sound again. I swear I didn't do that, but <laughs> that's what we're doing. Polly bag to leave, bag of crafting. I'm glad I did not take that. It's a cool item overall, but I mean, Polly is um, definitely better for us. Charge key is interesting. Still trying to find a way to die, whether it be sack room or curse room, or I could just die right here for the fun of it. I think I'd rather uh, fight my boss first, though, that I can do some dying action. Oh, there you go. Curse room. Perfect. So far, the curse rooms have been crazy, and it looks like it's gonna continue to be that. Jeez. Mephisto's Pact. What is this? Broken Hearts grants free devil deal as a Joker card. A grants free devil deal? Ah, as in the lost soul trinket. Like, I get to have a free devil deal. Well, guess what? I'm already lost. I do get a Joker card, though, and Broken Hearts don't affect me. Yeah, sure. Why not? Give me that Joker card, we'll leave. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My bad, my bad, my bad. I got to die. Let's see, do I keep my false certificate? It seems like it. I'm I'm just assuming like it's on my inventory screen. So it's still being a thing. I, I'm going to say that if it's not there, then it's not going to work anymore. It's gone. But, you know, maybe one of these days it just does not work. I'm going to go with that instead because that sounds hilarious. Because now there's no way to know whether or not <laughs> when I die, I'm going to DC or I'm, I'm actually just gonna straight up die. Anyway, uh, we got Sacred Heart last time, so now it's time for Polyphemus, just stacking up with the rock bottom. Already 40 damage, this is gonna be a nutso run. Bum, 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 bum. Rum, 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 rum. Okay, so Blub, I, I, dude. <laughs> you ain't surviving this one. Fire rate up is nice. We can actually just take perfection just to take. And then also get a luck up, which is great. Uh, I give myself 12 luck, walk away. We don't actually need to keep it because of rock bottom. And we have a mirror dimension to do. Went to Costco again recently. If you guys remember my other Costco story, uh, you knew that uh, that Costco I initially went to, not so great. The experience, not so good. <laughs> so we decided to go to a different Costco. It was only like 0.4 miles longer of a drive. So it really was not that big of a deal. This one was okay. I mean, like... I didn't have a terrible experience, so it was cool. It was just very crowded. There were a lot of people there. So I was like, what was going on a little bit? <laughs> but we figured out what we needed to get. We went shopping. It was all good. To be honest with you, though, I don't know, like, if maybe I have, like, oh, hell no, marked. Some form of, like, Stockholm Syndrome or something. But I kind of want to go to the initial Costco that I went to where I had a terrible experience. Because, like... I mean, the rest of the Costco wasn't bad. It was just that one lady I, I, I was like really, really mad at. Conjoined is nice. So I don't know. Maybe uh, uh, I, I'll go back to the initial one. The one we did go to, like, again, it wasn't terrible. It was actually pretty decent. It was just really, really crowded. And I guess, you know, I didn't even have time to get a, a, a Costco hot dog or a double chocolate chocolate chunk chocolate cookie, cookie with the chicken bake. So, you know, I was like, damn it, I'm hungry. And I was a little bit more mad than usual. Bar of soap. Hangry things do exist man being hangry is a real feeling uh but overall uh, genuinely like it was a good costco experience so i'm, I'm, I'm fine with it caves those time with the boss room to our left with multiple hp ups no thank you could use the joker i suppose but it's fine it's not really a big deal due to polydactyly we don't have to optimize too much we can just keep it with us until the very end another juicy looking treasure room with just straight up conjoined uh they're giving me so many babies that's really nice okay <laughs> hey recently we played with flip over ed6 and i had a great time so let's do it i think flip is just more fun in general as well amnesia full health we don't need too much i'm gonna die real quick and get another dc yeah, flip will be nice. There's a potential that, you know, it maybe does a lot less for us. False certificate is gone. Would you look at that? Well, what should I do with this information? I'll tell you what. Uh, get another damage multiplier. <laughs> 
From here though, we can now work towards getting a lot more tier rate. I do like rerolling, but ED6 rerolling tends to make me feel like, ugh, you know, because sometimes things just delete and it's like, well, okay. I love normal D6 rolling because I have full control over everything. So of course you like it, but ED6, you know, I prefer having the control of flip over a little bit of random factors from ED6. Got a shop over here. This one has, is that a battery? Oh, it's charged, baby. Sure. Do I even want card reading too much? Nah, I don't need it too much. We'll just do this. Take this and I'll be on my way. Mentioned recently that I've been playing Roblox Doors, which has been uh, very fun. And I saw a comment after on that video mentioning that I should try playing Pressure. Uh, and I was like, what is Pressure? And then uh, right after I was playing like, oh my God, tears down. Right after I was done playing a lot of Roblox Doors, you know, obviously I was in VC on Discord. So I just kept saying the word Roblox and Doors over and over again into my microphone. And um, uh, like, come on, you know how it is. Like you say these things and then immediately in your YouTube recommended you get recommended it and like you you know that they're listening and there's not much you could do about it so you just accept it and that's the way it is so I was saying Roblox and doors a lot so eventually I got pressure in my YouTube recommended I, and I was like oh wait this is the thing that, that I saw that YouTube commenter say I wonder what this is all about I checked it out it's basically like a doors clone not to call it a clone to discredit it it's its own thing but you know it's like the same formula I should say I recommended it to my friends that we played doors with and I personally had a great time we did a couple runs i think it took like uh maybe like two three sessions for us to try and beat it and eventually at the very end uh, unfortunately all of my friends died but i did manage to clutch it out i managed to escape the facility pressure's pretty cool because it's kind of scp coded i feel it's like roblox scp and like uh, underwater i guess you could say subnautica very cool aesthetic it's very nice then i checked what, what else is like uh trending on roblox like what else is trending and then i saw that uh like skibbity toilet roblox tower defense is on and then I, I tried that and then uh maybe that wasn't that wasn't that good for me but you know like i i i, I tried it <laughs> i'm not th i'm not that young unfortunately you know like i i can't i can't relate to that kind of brain rot but you know good for whoever uh they they enjoy it good for them <laughs> we got a deal and a toothpicks is great and in here more guppy i'm straight up guppy oh my god wait no i'm not because it's gonna delete isn't it is it Oh, interesting. So that Mephisto pack was actually very useful because, I mean, I don't need four, four, three guppy, but you know, if you have the, the found soul trinket that gives you a free deal, it literally gives you a free deal. You can take two as the loss. You just don't delete them immediately. So it does have some use. Interesting. Well, let's do our best to continue moving forward with our 60 damage build that we got on like the third floor. False certificate may no longer be a thing, but that does not mean dead cat is no longer a thing. We still, oh, hold on, golden penny moment. We still have the ability to constantly die. Not that it's useful, but we should not be permit dying, I would say. And I should just go fight this boss right now while I have a low deal chance. Don't blow up any keepers or anything. Give me an excuse to maybe use this Joker card. At this point, it's my main goal to get as overpowered as possible. That is exactly what we're going to do. Joker card it up. Now, I know this doesn't translate too much. <laughs> But personally, I should have silently screamed. I know that doesn't make sense, but basically what I'm trying to say is I pogged in real life. I saw Incubus. I, I literally like slow motion did the, the face and I was like, oh my goodness. So now Incubus is part of the team. I don't know why I have so many familiar baby Adams today. Uh, it's not like conjoined was hard to get anyway, but just in case I missed any of the familiars on this run, I would have easily also landed them. What's in the treasure room? You're kidding me. <laughs> what? What? What's going on here? Dude, give me that certificate, please. Okay. All right. I don't know what I used, but I just got like 800 flies. I guess I'll also take this. Why not? Uh, yeah. What was that? <laughs> One of these days, man, I'm going to do some dead God progression. Or I'm just going to play Isaac and have some fun rigging the game. I'm going to walk in first floor treasure room metronome and I will get that certificate. It's going to be wonderful. I, it, it will be a legendary moment for now, though. I think I only have one room to do, which we'll see if it's good or useful. It's not. So let's leave. 
Ah, just took a little bit of a break between those floors. Ended up playing like two matches of Tekken, ran into Anakin and beat him. Yeah, that's right. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I have to gas myself up for that one. Gaming incarnate right now. My goodness, dude. Shout out to Anakin. Oh my goodness. The reason I can even come close to playing Jack, dude. I still play Tekken too. Like I, I, I like to boot up the game every now and then. Dude, that is one of the most pretty games on this monitor. I will say it. It looks incredible. I was thinking about how good Monster Hunter Wild is going to look. Oh my. I'm so excited for that game. I remember I had a Monster Hunter Worlds, a whole thing. What is this? Jellyfield donut. Onigiri dips. Uh, onigiri dips can drop half a heart after death. They are adorable. I love them. Yeah, I I didn't play Monster Hunter World as like as soon as it came out because I had always seen people play Monster Hunter on like the PSP, you know. And I always thought the game looked so cool. Like, oh, you got that huge health bar and you're trying to fight this giant monster and then you go to a camp and then you do something. This is really, really early on when the only game I really had to show people was, hey, look at my DS, I have Mario Kart DS. So when I saw all the gamers out there have PSPs and they were playing whatever this magical game is, I was like, dude, what is that thing? Uh, spider bite here is the best thing. Fortune cookie don't matter too much. I did end up getting a PSP but I never really found out what game they were playing and only after I played Worlds because wow 1% planetarium. <laughs> the Mercurius find from the planetarium was pretty fat. Yeah only after Worlds had been released for a bit of time I was like yeah sure I'll play this game and then I played it and I was like wait this is the game I've seen all those other people play when I was younger. I did end up getting a PSP but the most I ever played on it was Secret Agent Clank which uh not not really the not not the best game. <laughs> That game, it's uh, it's all right at best. What we have in here, mom fight. How you doing? Say goodbye. And I think I'll go up today. Just kidding. Down. I missed the Polaroid unironically. I'm not even gonna pretend like I did that on purpose. That was actually insane that I missed it. <laughs> Let's flip a dip. Go contract from below and go woo. But yeah, ever since Monster Hunter Worlds, I can officially say like I am a Monster Hunter fan. I did not play Rise because I, I, I know this is such a dumb thing to say, but didn't Rise, Monster Hunter Rise officially come out on the Switch first? Like it was a, it was a Switch first type thing, right? And then it slowly came out on other uh, platforms. For some reason, my dumb brain was like, hey, if it's coming out on Switch first, that means that it's like not as good i don't think that's true at all i don't really even mean good i mean just like as i don't know like triple a you know what i mean like it's like and i don't i don't stand by this anymore i'm just saying it felt like when you got a uh, crash bandicoot whatever on the ds or in comparison to the console version or or shrek to the video game in comparison to Shrek on the Game Boy Advance. You know, like back then, games were so different in comparison to their, their mobile variants. Like you had your portable version of the game and you had your home console version of the game. And both games were completely different. That's no longer really the case because mobile gaming has uh, it's a lot more powerful these days so they can just handle that type of thing. But for some reason, I was just like, wow, Rise is on the Switch first. I know it's gonna come to other consoles. Also, I heard that if I buy it on the Switch, I can't transfer my save fell to PC, which I would eventually want to play on. So that kind of was a bit of a turn off. You know, I'm just saying. Either way, I was like, okay, I'll hold off and wait for the next big Mongo Monster Hunter. And Monster Hunter Wilds will be that. So that is why I'm incredibly excited. Hoping that's going to be an absolute bop of a video game. We have an Emperor card here, but I've already kind of done the boss challenge room. So what I think I'll do is just clear out this womb and then TP to the boss when I head to uh, Shoal. That would probably be best because I don't really want to deal with anyone in Shoal. Because Shoal freaking sucks, man. <laughs> in fact, due to Mercurius... I don't really need to fight anyone, do I? I'm, I'm out of here. Oh yeah. It lives, instantaneously dies. I do get a deal, which is nice. And I can fight Hush because I sped through right then. And I also get Athame, which is nuts. I also get another baby. Have I not encountered every familiar ever today? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Treasure room over here with Aquarius. Could be kind of cool. The shop has birthright oh hello my beloved steam cell as well but obviously we don't need that too much maybe we open all of these juicy things just some pickups not too important i am going to demolish hush with this amount of damage eviscerated from existence really wow yeah <laughs> that's pretty good i like that a lot 
take the Aquarius. Let's just go right after. Sorry, I farmed for a crawl space down here, maybe. Wow, first bomb. Insanely lucky today. Insanely absurdly lucky. 150 base then. What is even going on anymore? I wonder just how fast I'm gonna kill this dude. We also have Athame, of course, to help us along, so... Those are the biggest tears I've ever seen. <laughs> Basically, every single enemy is going to turn into a black ass aim, but does it even matter because I'm gonna do this entire fight without even cutting the fight? It's it's all it's he has not been able to do anything. I beat him in under like five seconds. That was it. Nice, GG. Wowza, let's go. And uh, as I said earlier, maybe just walk in a room, see if it's useful. Not really. I don't want to deal with ghosty goo ghouls, so let's just. Uh, destroy Satan really quickly. Dark Room has Sack Alter, Purgatory, Zazel's Rage, and Berserk. These are all items I truly do not care that much about. <laughs> I I would have honestly maybe used the Sack Alter. Like, I would not have been that against it. However, um, it would get rid of Incubus, which is a high value familiar, so I don't actually want to do that specifically. Lucky Foot is great, SMB Super Fan is nice for the extra speed and also extra damage. Hey, we were supposed to go into tiers, but we never really found much tiers ups. If this is like the, you have base tier rate, but also 100 and billion damage, I'm okay with that. I kind of like that. That's pretty fun, as well as Fruitcake will add on to the amount of damage we're doing in a fun and silly and goofy way. You know, if I'm not going to roll these, I guess I might as well take one. I will take it a purgatory because I have that item that kind of spawns ghosts anyway, so let's just get more ghosts going. Is this my boss already? Wow, okay, I'm just gonna run all the way back and clear those couple rooms. But truly, I, I don't think there's anything the world can do to stop me. I think I'm also gonna use glass cannon whenever I get the opportunity. Should be fun to shoot that enormous tier and one shot whatever comes my way. It's also piercing as well, just due to Polyphemus' literal effects. I'm gonna shoot one tier and destroy the final boss. That's my plan. This one tier better kill the lamb. To be fair, lamb has a second phase, and so there's a bit of like invuln frames there. So not exactly a one shot, but like it's it's one tier and you die. Like let's be real. That, oh my god, it was so big <laughs> that it covered the entire screen and both phases anyway. That was false certificate part of Eco Eclipse. I hope. You enjoyed, because I had a wonderful time just straight up raking the game. And now I think it's time to rig the next time I play Isaac. Hopefully, maybe, we'll see. Maybe something comes up, I don't know. GG!